What's going on, Gamey here? Just wanted to do a quick update here for Piston Token. Lots of stuff going on. They just released, officially released their white paper for the game. Um, they're doing a couple of different things with the UI. You can actually see the NFT that you're qualified for in your back office. So we'll cover all that real quick. Of course, it goes without saying that I am not a financial advisor. You should never be taking financial advice from a stranger on YouTube. If you want financial advice, you should seek out a professional. If you're going to get into anything in crypto or anything that I talk about on my channel, please do your own research and only put in funds you're okay to lose. Okay, guys, um, this is risky stuff. Everything you do in crypto is risky. Tokens are volatile as far as the prices go. And when you put it into these contracts, yes, you can make gains. But on the flip side of making big gains is also the potential to lose. So you got to be okay with that. Also, follow me on Telegram. I'll, I'll leave a link for that down below. If you haven't subscribed yet, hit subscribe. Hit the little bell icon so you'll get notified straight away whenever I do a brand new video. So real quick, guys, um, right on the... Um, the start page, you can see the price of Piston right now sitting at $8.64. A couple of people have asked me, am I worried about that? No, not really. I mean, if, when you think about what the whole market in general is doing, you can see here Bitcoin is down 21,000. This was, you know, Bitcoin was at 60,000 plus just a while ago. Now it's at 21,000. Ethereum sitting at 1,100. You can see here the last seven days, um, just to give you a little bit of perspective, right? Um, last seven days, Bitcoin's down 30%. Ethereum's down almost 40% in the last week. BNB is down uh, almost 25% in the last week alone. So when you look at Piston, right? Uh, Piston obviously down, but you look at the last seven days, uh, last seven days, 15.7% down. It's actually doing better than some of these other coins and tokens. So I mean, the whole market is down. We, we are in a bear market right now. So am I worried about the price? No, not really, because I don't really worry too much about price. For me, I look at the team behind it, the dev team. Are they innovating? Are they doing things? Are they communicating? If they're not communicating, if they're not innovating, if they're not you know, coming out with something new or talking about what's coming next, then I, then I start to you know, get a little bit of, get a little concerned. These guys, you know, they're not like that. They have a couple of different things that are coming out. I've gone through the roadmap before. Um, let me see here, the roadmap. So here you can see here, they have their roadmap laid out and then they have here their completed list, which is um, you know, pretty awesome considering that they're, you know, they're, their goal is to hit everything on their roadmap on time. Now again, this is DeFi, this is crypto, this is business. Will everything come out on time? Things happen. So I always give a little leeway and some flexibility there. For the most part, they've done everything on time. Their lottery is set to come out at the end of the month. I'm excited about that because, you know, I've seen, I'll be honest, I wasn't too, I don't really get too excited about these lottery things only because I don't personally play it or play lottery. Uh, but I have been watching a couple of different platforms in the space who do lotteries every single day. And I can see where FOMO kicks in. Um, it creates, you know, it, it incentivizes people to deposit more into the platform. Um, so if this lottery works out the way some of those other lotteries are currently working with some of these other platforms that I'm looking at, that's pretty exciting, right? Um, they also have their uh, testing phase for their new game. They have an NFT marketplace. So we've covered this before. I'm not going to go over it again, but we'll cover this in the, in the white paper. Uh, real quick, let's go over... The race, oh, by the way, if you're in the LA area, July 29th to 31st, Piston, they will be at the NFT Expo Burst. They're going to have their own booth. We covered that already, so I'm not going to rehash that. However, if you're new to my channel, you're watching, this is one of the first videos you're watching, and you're in the area, I mean, this might be an opportunity to go meet with the team if, if you're, you know, if you're already there. So that being said, um, Let's check out the race, how we're doing with the race. You can see here I have, even with the price being down, I still have 13,000 plus dollars worth of piston in the gas tank. Um, here you have my, I have my available balance, $77 worth of piston. Here you have your nitro, uh, which is the compound button. And then here's the claim button. And then they just added this right here. This is brand new. They have a ratio of claim to nitro, okay? Um, so this right here, this 
gives you an indicator of, are you being a good player, right? Are you being a good actor? Are you compounding into the system or are you just claiming, claiming, claiming? Now do what you want to do. You have the freedom to do that. This doesn't penalize you for, for claiming like some other platforms I see, they actually penalize you for claiming. Um, and I, you know, for me, you should be able to claim it's your, it's your funds, right? Now, if you want the platform to last long, of course, you're going to want to compound into the system, et cetera, et cetera. But here you can actually gauge that. And then here's where you can actually check what NFT you're qualified for when they launch it. Now, of course, this isn't live just yet, but based on your activity in the platform, you can qualify for different NFTs. So here you can see the very first one I'm, a, I'm qualified for. All you got to do to qualify for this one, you just got to deposit into the race. This one here is the next one. Um, I have two check boxes here. Um, missing this, which is having a 75% ratio of nitro compounding. I think I have a 60%. Yeah, 60 out of 75. So I'll just compound a couple more times and I'll, I'll be qualified for this. And then I'll be qualified for the class for Camaro. Um, that's pretty cool. You have the auto compound button here. This one works uh, if you want to use that. You can't auto compound indefinitely, though. There's a set, you know, you, you can only auto compound for a set amount of days, three days, four days, whatever the case might be. And then you have to make sure you have enough funds in your wallet to cover the transaction fees. If you don't, it's not going to go through. OK, so those of you guys who like to auto compound, um, me personally, I like to compound manually. That way I have a little bit more control. But if you're the type of person who likes to auto compound or maybe you're going on vacation or something like that, or you just want to be totally passive and you don't want to you know have to log back in or come back in once a day to compound you can use that auto pilot button okay so let's go to their telegram let's take a quick look at this and then we'll take a look at the new official uh white paper right i i did a leak uh not a leak i mean i i previewed like seven or eight pages of the white paper now they have the full white paper you can actually download and check it out for yourself. I'm not going to go over the whole 40 page document, obviously, but I'll highlight a couple of things. But it's pretty cool. I mean, these guys are really giving a lot of thought to what they're doing. It's not easy to launch again an actual P2P game where you can actually earn money. Um, but I think these guys, you know, they're, they're doing a, a really good job. Let's take a quick look right here before we do that. Um, All right, so here's the update from one of the team members. This here, a new UI version was, was released containing the following fixes and features. The Piston Game white paper. This is launched on the website. Now you can understand how fun and profitable the Piston Game will be for you and how good it will be, how good it will become to the protocol long, longevity. If you're a good driver or NFT carport salesman, you might double, triple, or even max your ROI to 100 plus percent. Well, it all depends on how you equip your car and how good race driver you will become. The game preview will be available for testing on July 28th on the NFT Expo verse in the Piston Pit Stop booth. If you are from Los Angeles, do not lose this opportunity. Um, also, there's a Nitro versus Claim meter, which I just showed you. This feature allows investors to track the number of compounds versus claims. Some promotions require you to accomplish a certain level of compounds, and now you can see how good a player investor you are, okay? Uh, promotions this feature will show the nfts you qualify when the piston game launches remember the game strategy starts now and the piston piston race is already on um, about to come june 30th which is at the end of this month right it's in two weeks is the lottery so i'm excited to see how that how that plays out um and then thanks for believing in the piston project we are working hard to ensure you guys will have the most sustainable daily ry project in the space keep in tune and ride with us on this adventure so um so so yeah upcoming is the lottery at the end of this month and yeah pretty awesome stuff here hmm. wow all right so let's take a quick look at that white paper guys you go to the main page it's down here now this is the Piston game white paper. This is the driving game, the racing game. You can see it's a 40 page document. Uh, again, I'm not going to cover the whole 40 pages on this video. You can download it and read it for yourself. Uh, but you can see here that they put a lot of time into this. Um, it says here the tokenomics of the game were designed with two goals in mind create multiple forms of authentic utility for the piston token. That's what we're looking for, right? We're looking for actual utility and to build a system within which holders of all levels have an equal opportunity 
to increase their APY through a fun and engaging exercise of skill. So they, they're looking for ways to gamify um, for users the opportunity to increase their earnings. Now, again, I want to just say that while they're while this game, you know, you're going to be able to earn while they have this lottery, while they have all these different things that are working. The race is like the main hub. Like obviously, get you a good position in the race. You're you're earning one percent a day, and then you can kind of branch off and use that to to make money with these other things. Okay, so make sure you have a good position in the race first. You're going to need to because when you play this, when you play against other people, um, your earnings in the race game and the ROI contract is what you're kind of putting on the line when you play other people, because you can win um, money when you when you race other people, but you have to put up your earnings in the race. So again, you can read all about that here. I'm not gonna cover all that here, um, but as you can see here, uh, requirements to play, players must have at least one piston deposited into the piston dashboard. That's the race, right? And uh, when the available fuel gauge in the piston dashboard is full, um, when your unclaimed daily payout has reached one percent of the amount in your gas tank, the play game option becomes available in the main game menu. So, your one percent meter has to be at a hundred percent. That way, it's it's a full one percent of your of your amount. Does that make sense? Right. Um, at that time, you can play. You can click play game to begin a new race session, and your unclaimed daily payout will be held by the game for use in races until the session until the session ends. So, you're not putting at stake your full deposit in the race, what you're doing is that 1% that you're earning daily, that's what you're putting up. 0.2% of that 1% is what you're putting up in the game. So you can actually play five games, five games with your 1% because each game is 0.2%, right? Of course, you know, when this thing launches, we'll do videos on it and uh, we'll show you in real time. We're just kind of seeing what their, their um, white paper says here. You can end your race your race session at any time, and any remaining funds and their winnings will become available. If you do not proactively end your session, it will end automatically 24 hours after it began. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, you can see here the gameplay, the objective. Obviously, it's a race game, so the objective is to make it around the track for the required number of laps. Um, total run on each track should be approximately six to eight minutes. You can choose the track. This is like um, if you're old, if, I don't know, I'm dating myself here, but if you're old school, like pole position, you guys remember pole, pos <laughs> pole position? I'm sure there's other million other games that have launched that are like this since then. But when I was a kid, it was like pole position and you can kind of race around the track. Um, so you could race against other people. So again, this is all, you know, they're just gamifying a way for people to increase their earnings on the platform. So here's the winnings, right? You can track the, your winnings here. Um, there's different levels, right? How to match up with different players. Um, here's the matchups again. Um, here's the oil token. I covered this already in my other video. Um, it says here the virtual token oil is integrated into the tokenomics piston race game in the garage. Oil can be used for the maintenance and upgrading of car parts. Okay. Um, so again, you can you can get this oil this oil token right here. It's also um, you can you can get it by buying it directly, or you can get it when you nitro when you auto when you compound. You can get these tokens, and then you can use these tokens to upgrade your car, do maintenance, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Of course, the more you put into your car, and the more you build it, the faster it's going to be. So that's cool. You can actually work on your car and and and, and build you know build it. So again, you can go through this. I'm not going to cover all this. This is uh, lots of lots of info right here. Marketplace, buying and selling of car parts, right? Um, so each car part is an actual NFT. So again, there's a lot of different moving parts to this, guys. It's almost like, um, and again, I don't want to. I don't like talking about other platforms when I'm doing a video on a on a certain platform, right? Um, but let's say like to Give you a little bit of a, of a comparison you have like the drip faucet is the main deal then you have piggy bank pig pen the animal farm drip garden you have all these different moving parts that can, you can make money with also but the, the faucet is the main deal well 
with this, the race is the main deal, right? You want to build your position in the race, get your 1% a day until you hit 365%, but you can make money with the NFTs, the lottery, this racing game, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, okay? Um, so yeah, you can check this out. Lots of information here. Uh, here you can learn a little bit about staking funds, okay? Um, but yeah, pretty good stuff here. These guys are, you know, working on a lot of different things. And that's what I like to see. You know, when a team is stagnant, stagnant and they're not doing anything and they're kind of just, you know, they're going to, they're just not going to be able to keep up with the market. People are going to move on to other things. When you have a team that's always working on stuff, they're putting things together, they they have new things that are launching, they have a roadmap that they're trying to complete. I like to see that. Anyway, that being said, if you're not in the race and you want to check this out, I will leave my buddy your address down below. I do airdrops, I do all sorts of stuff. But yeah, you can go in here, get you some piston, throw it in the race here, earn 1% a day. Of course, if you want to buy piston, uh, excuse me, if you want, if you don't have BUSD and you want to use a credit card to buy BUSD, which in turn you take BUSD and buy piston, you can always do that right here. They accept credit card right on their website. Um, so that's, that's pretty innovative, right? They wanna onboard new people in the most convenient way possible. Um, so there's an option here to use your credit card, I'm not saying that you should, it's totally up to you, right? Um, but yeah, just wanted to give you a quick update, let you know what's happening here with the platform. They got some stuff happening, which is good to know. And uh, I will catch you on the next video. All right, guys, I'll talk to you soon, peace.